What's up ladies and mateys? This video will cover how to fly a straight in while flying around the VFR pattern at Kegelman Oxfield. We're going to cover pattern procedures, radio calls, pitch and power settings, as well as ground references, although not as extensively as the ground reference videos also available on this channel. For starters, let's figure out where we are. If you look off the left wing, you'll see Dogface Lake circled in white. There aren't really any other ground references visible from this shot. So just take my word for it when I say we're on outside downwind for runway 17 at Dogface. If you track your eyes from left to right, you'll see 92 initial highlighted in white. The section line prior is the straight and descent point. As a disclaimer, the straight and descent point is different for nearly every pattern advance, so study your in-flight guide before arbitrarily descending into an unsat. On outside downwind, you should be flying 200 knots with about 50% torque set, maintaining 2300 feet MSL. Somewhere between the entry point to outside downwind, in this case the swamp, and 92 initial, request your straight in. If your straight in is approved, you can begin your descent provided you're past the straight in descent point. Creep 01 request straight in. Straight in approved. When you begin your descent, a common technique is to reduce your power to about 20% torque, or lighten the gear handle, and put the nose about 5 degrees nose low. You'll maintain about 200 knots until you level off. With some consideration for the winds, you can begin your turn to straight in ground track after passing 92 initial. Ninety-two initial is where this east-west road terminates into the north-south road to the left of the nose. As you level off, leave your power at about 20%, trim to maintain 1800 feet. Your airspeed will slowly begin to bleed back towards your configuration airspeed. If your airspeed is static, you've either left your power up or you're descending. Don't do either of those things. If you look to your left, the large gray concrete pad works for the 5 mile turn point. Make sure at 5 miles you make your 5 mile radio call. Creep 01, 5 miles. Make a quartering turn 45 degrees to the runway and clear for traffic from the right, left, and above. Other students have little regard for your safety and should not be trusted. Finish the dogleg by turning to align yourself with the runway. Make sure to adjust for winds. The runway is near the horizon to the left of the nose. The road we're about to pass over is 92 initial in case you'd gotten disoriented. Traffic. Traffic. If you've left your power around 20%, somewhere between 5 and 2 miles you'll slow to below 150 knots. Configure and confirm your gear prior to 2 miles. One forty gear clear, gear flaps. After you configure, you'll have to adjust your power to compensate for all the drag. 30% torque is a good place to start. The ground reference for the two-mile point can be seen on the left. Don't forget to make your radio call. You have priority over most people in the pattern at this point, but they may be waiting to request closed or something similar. Creeps are on, two miles, gear down. You don't have to descend immediately from two miles, and in fact you should not do that. You're simply looking to establish a three-degree glide slope to your intended point of landing. With flaps in the takeoff position, hold level flight at 500 feet AGL until your intended point of landing enters the lower third of your windscreen. At this point, you can reduce your power and lower your nose to place your intended point of landing about halfway up your windscreen. Maintain 105 plus your gust factor. Somewhere in the ballpark of 15% torque should be adequate, but adjust as required. Continue to keep your aim point static in your windscreen until it starts to slide under your nose. Then begin to round out by tracking your nose up towards the departure end of the runway and reduce your power. Your goal is to be at idle when you're parallel with the runway. The flare is taking a straight glide slope to the runway and smoothing it into a curve by resisting the sink of the aircraft towards the ground. 
The stick movement has to be proportional to the rate your airspeed is decreasing. If you try and set a position rather than easing into the proper flare picture, you may balloon if you're fast or make your IP really sad if you're slow. So that's about it for the basics. The video is not going to play again with all the radio calls included, but without all the color commentary for a marginally more realistic experience. Creep 01 request straight in. Straight in approved. Delta. Welcome to Dogface. Dogface is landing 17. Winds are 180 at 19. We're dual birds mod. You are number 5. Creep 01, 5 miles. Traffic, traffic. One, four, eight, gear clear. Gear flaps. And now three green, flaps take off. Creeps are on, two miles, gear down. 